Hello and welcome to the Controlling Support Video Solution Series. In this video, we will cover how to install a distributed enterprise manager. Here, we are on a Windows machine ready to install the distributed EM. The menu selections and information necessary are very similar when doing this on a Unix or Linux machine. It is recommended to run the setup executable from an administrator command prompt. Once the installation menu launches, you'll agree to the license terms, and in the next window, you'll choose Additional Installations and Control M Enterprise Manager. Clicking Next will then launch a new window. In that window, you should choose Additional Distributed Installation. The next steps will be several selections to choose database type and then enter the database hostname, port, and credentials. If you do not have this information and you are using MS SQL or an Oracle database, this information can be provided by your database administrator. You can also see details for the database in the DBU underscore params.dat file located in the ENs bin slash dbu data slash primary directory. Once the installation has begun, I'd like to discuss that there are primarily two reasons for installing a distributed EM instance. First, it can provide a logon service that's geographically located closer to users. For example, if a company is located in Europe but has a large number of control M users in South America, a distributed EM can be installed to a host there to allow those users more convenient access to the control M environment. The second reason is that if workload archiving is going to be used, it must be installed to a distributed EM that's not on the same host machine as the Enterprise Manager server. Since the installation can take several minutes or longer, we'll skip ahead to the completion of the installation. Next, we'll go to the Enterprise Manager server, and we can see in the CCM that the distributed EM we just installed is listed there. This concludes this Control M support video. Please see our knowledge base and YouTube channel for more videos like this.